Hi what's up guys Raghav Sharma here welcome back to another video so guys today what I'll be doing in this video is that I will be converting any IP camera into a home kit supported IP camera so in my case Hikvision IP cameras are installed in my home so this tutorial will be based mostly on the Hikvision cameras but if you are having any other company camera also CP plus any generic brand camera even if it is IP supported we can do this on that so this mainly will be working on the RTSP uh, stream so I'll be using a software on my MacBook and uh, using that software I'll be relaying the RTSP stream to HomeKit so let's see how this all works now my MacBook will be the main hub for this that everything will be controlled from this MacBook this should be always running so this can be done on Windows MacBook or even on a Raspberry Pi so the best thing is that you do it on a Raspberry Pi that the Raspberry Pi will be turned on for uh, 24 by 7 and the stream will be on your uh, home kit every time so doing this on a raspberry pi is 100 percent similar just what you have to do is you have to install a software which i'll be installing on my macbook on the raspberry pi and rest everything is similar so let's get started and see how it's done so to start off firstly you need the ip address of your camera uh, so that we can make a rtsp address which can be used to connect to our camera so getting the IP address is very simple there are two three methods first is that you can go to your routers configuration page and over there you can see the connected Wi-Fi list and over there you can find the IP address of your cameras second is that you can use the IP address finder app uh, the connected devices finding apps on the app store or play store like this one thirdly Hikvision is having its own app which can be used to uh, find IP cameras so for for that go to Google Chrome copy the link from the description paste it over there this is the link hit enter over there this is the download button you can download it it is available for both uh, windows and macbook so this is the tool sadp you can download it for windows also i'll give the link for windows also in the description now after installing it i have already installed it is over here we have to open it and just after opening it you can see all my cameras of my home are uh, here so there are nine cameras and one nvr unit now i'll be uh, getting the ip address of uh, any one camera so here you can see like if i get this my IP address is 192.168.1.21 so now I have the IP address so now I have to get the RTSP port of this camera for that I will be going to Safari and entering the IP address of my camera over here now I will enter the credentials for my uh, camera and here you can see I am into the cameras page now we will go into configuration so now after getting into configuration we have to go to network and then in their basic settings over the port over here we can see the RTSP port for our Equation camera. So we know the port is 554 mostly in every camera this is only the port. If your installer have changed it then it might be different but most in most cases it will be 554 only. So now what we will do is that we are having the IP address and the port now. Now we will be going to this website which is given again in the description. In the website we have to go to camera database. Over there you can see many camera companies. Over here find your company. In my case it is Equation. So here you can see this is equation now I will click on it and over here you can see many models have been opened now click your desired model over here you can uh, again find your model now my model is in is listed over here so I will click on it and now a pop-up comes and it says Hikvision video URL generator over here I have to enter the IP address of my camera so as in the SADP tool the IP address was 192.168.1.21 so I will write here 1.21 my username and my password so here your password will be good and then click on generate URL so now this is the URL of my camera and click on copy so now the URL is copied into my clipboard so now the work of this website is done you can uh, copy and paste this URL uh, in some notes or something after that now what we can do is you can go to VLC player go to file open network and this dialog box will appear over here again go to network and in the URL enter this URL so now this RTSP URL is entered over here. Now I will click on open. After this you can see that my camera is visible. There is now night outside that's why it is now black and white. So this tells that our RTSP uh, URL is 100% correct and it's working. So now after getting the RTSP URL we have to install scripted. So for that I have given a link in the description again a github link. So paste the URL of scripted into the address bar and this uh, github page will open. Go down and go to the installation tab. Over here, select a desired uh, operating system. Now I am using Mac, Macnetosh, so I'll select Mac local installation. So now what scripted does is that it will uh, make our laptop as a hub and through that HomeKit will be working. So now for that our laptop should be 100% every time on. So that is not possible. So currently I am to installing this on MacBook, but you can install it on a Raspberry Pi. 
and the same uh, interface what I am showing you on the Mac is there on the Raspberry Pi. It is 100% similar so that you can keep the Raspberry Pi with your camera set uh, camera setup and uh, it can be 24 by 7 running and the HomeKit service will be 24 by 7 ready. If you need help, I can help you ask me in the comments. For now, I'll be going for Mac local installation. After coming here, it will say that step one is we should have Homebrew installed. Now, Homebrew installation is really simple. You have to go to Homebrew and over there, this is the URL of installation of Homebrew. You have to just copy it and paste it in your terminal. And as you can see, the Homebrew installation will start. Now, this will take about five to 10 minutes to install completely. Now finally you can see the homebrew is installed. Now what we have to do is we have to go back to the Mac installation page of GitHub of scripted and then uh, we have to do the step 2 which is the copying of these three commands and then we have to again paste it into our terminal. So after pasting it into our terminal the installation of scripted will be started using homebrew. So it will again take 10 to 15 minutes it takes long to install. So now as you can see scripted has done installation and it is saying scripted is now running at localhost uh, at port 10443. So now let's copy this and paste it on our uh, Chrome. And now as you can see it says your connection is not private and all we will go to advanced and proceed to localhost. So here you can see that scripted has finally working over here. So now we have to log in. So first time it will uh, be uh, helping us create an account. So we have to keep a username. I'll be keeping it Raghav Sharma. Password of your choice. Confirm password. Login. After making the new account, we will get into Scripted's main dashboard. Over here we have to click plugins and click install. We have to search for mainly two plugins. First is RTSP. This one. So click on install. So it is uh, installed. Now second one we need is HomeKit. Again plugins install HomeKit. So this one is it installed. So now as you can see that it is installed successfully and this is the HomeKit plugin and the other one was the RTS. Now we'll go to the plugins and select the RTSP plugin over here. So now this is the main page of the RTSP plugin. Here we'll click add device. Now it says add camera name. So now we will put any camera name. It is just for identification. So I will click front yard camera and I will click create. Over here it asks the username of our camera. I will put it. The password of the camera. I will again put it which is password at 12345. Then the RTSP URL which we just created. I will paste it over here. Then I have to click save RTSP uh, URL and I have to click no audio because in my case there is no audio in the camera. If you are having audio click uh, don't click this. Now I will click save. So now our camera is mainly saved. Now we'll again go to devices, RTSP camera plugin and here is the camera. We can see it. We'll open the camera and the live feed from the camera is visible over here. So uh, so this tells that the, uh, the RTSP plugin is working completely fine. Now we'll go to the HomeKit plugin. Over here you can see this is the HomeKit plugin. Now uh, below there is compatible things over here and I will tick this front yard camera. So now after we have added our uh, camera into the RTSP plugin, now we again go to devices and over there select the RTSP plugin again. Over here now we can see our front yard camera, we'll click on it. And as you can see, this is uh, the setup of our camera over here. Now we will go to uh, the some settings on the right side. So general it's all fine, edit, all fine, advanced, everything is just like that. Snapshot, we have to do nothing, home kit. It's fine. HomeKit pairing. Here you have to select the standalone accessory mode. This is important. Then in stream management, everything is fine. Stream one. Here you can see that uh, the detected video should come as uh, H264. Uh, the uh, everything should be like this. Now the detected keyframe interval is not fine here. So I will go to my camera settings and see what is it. So if your frame rate is 25, your frame interval should be 100 into 4. Just that's the thumb rule. Video quality I have done medium. The video encoding is right. Now uh, if you are using an NVR, so these settings has to be done into the NVR because the NVR will overlap the camera setting every time. So in my case I have uh, changed the setting in the NVR settings also. Now you can directly use the RTSP stream from the NVR but I am using it from my IP camera. It's on you. So for that we can see that uh, the camera stream on the left is working perfectly fine over here. So now we'll go to the integration and extensions and we have to see these five uh, plugins are selected over here and in the motion dissection you have to enable this. 
So now this was all from the scripted side. So now let's get to our phone and open the Apple Home app. So here I'll click the add accessory. Now it says to scan. So what I have to do is I have to go on my laptop back and go to devices then home kit and over there I am getting this pairing code. So I'll pair, uh, scan this code over here and now it says bridge add to Apple home add anyway continue and bridge name whatever we can do bridge name we can do anything like Hikvision bridge and then done. Now the bridge is added now we have to add the accessory once again now we are in the pairing mode now we'll go to devices and then we'll go to rtsp over here front yard camera and the home kit pairing home kit sorry so over here you again get the uh, pairing qr code you will scan this you see this camera add to apple home kit add anyway and you see the camera is started to display we'll click continue continue and done so the camera has started to display we can now stream our camera so now we can stream our camera as you can see the camera has started streaming and the camera is streaming perfectly now we can go through some settings and some things now as you can see the motion detection settings are not coming so what we have to do is we have to go into plugins homekit plugin and we have to re reload the homekit plugin Similarly, we'll go to the RTSP settings and we'll reload that and we will reload the full scripted also. Now you can see the recording settings on our camera is, uh, on our phone is coming. Now uh, for recording it says home hub required. So you need an Apple TV or an Apple home uh, pod for this to work. Now I am having an Apple home pod but it is in my different home. So I cannot show you the recording feature for that. But the recording will be directly done into the iCloud and uh, the storage will be from Apple. Unlimited storage. So that's a very big plus point. So the stream of the camera is working just perfectly fine. I can add my all nine cameras just like this. So thanks for watching my video. I hope it helped you and you enjoyed watching it. Uh, so uh, this was all done on a MacBook. You can do it on a Raspberry Pi so that you can use it uh, for 24 by 7 as the Raspberry Pi can be plugged in into a power adapter and it can work 24 by 7. So that was all. Thanks for watching the video. Peace.